So what I'm introducing here, why, why do we go to the bother of um, getting a second derivative? It's not just about these points of inflection, which I'll get to in more detail in a second, but it's also an alternative way of determining the nature of a stationary point. And you need to know both. Okay? You need to know, I can test the first derivative to the left and to the right, okay? or you can use the second derivative. Okay? Let me give you a quick example of why you might use one and not the other. Let's consider a function like this. Okay, now I don't know what this looks like yet, anyway, right? But I do already know that if I were to differentiate this, okay, um, you know, say the question was, find the stationary points and determine their nature, okay? Obviously, you have to differentiate once, so you say, well, that equals, and this is quotient rule, right? So let's just go through it quickly. Uh, this is going to be u and this is v, so it's a vulv on v squared, right? That's what a quotient rule is. So there's the first v. And u dash is just 1. And then u looks like that. And v dash requires chain rule, right? So what's this going to be? I think it looks like... Hmm, bring the 3 out the front. x cubed plus 2 squared. And then I can't forget 3x squared on the end. Okay? That's the numerator. That's the vulv part. And now I need this. Uh, that squared will be 6, right? Okay, now I could tidy this up in a minute, right? And then I'll have to solve that and find my stationary points, okay? But you can see, in this case, if I want to determine the nature of the stationary points, and I've got two ways to do it. I can test the first derivative on either side. Or, I can test the second derivative at those particular locations. Which would you prefer? And why? First derivative or second derivative? I'd go with first, right? Here's why. Even though first is like, oh man, I've got test values on either side, that's a pain. Well, guess what else is a pain? Differentiating this again, right? It already got into a, this is why we don't like quotient rule, right? It's turning into an awful mess just differentiating once, okay? Let's just, for the sake of it, okay, so you can get a sense of how bad it is and why you shouldn't always use the second derivative, okay? Let's tidy this up a little. I've uh, still got this cubed. Uh, minus 9x squared, x minus 1, x cubed plus 2 squared, over that. Okay, you want me to factorize that into there? I think that's going backwards, isn't it? I want it more factorized rather than... Oh uh, yeah, okay, alright, fine, alright, so 9x, that's going to be 9x cubed, minus 9x squared, is that what you want? Like that? <sighs> okay, let's get the... It's gonna be now, I can actually, I can do a little better, right? Because can you see there's a big co common factor going around? There's an x cubed plus 2, and there's quite a few of them, right? There's 3 here, there's 2 there, and there's 6 here. Okay, so let's be a little better. I can get rid of 2 from all of them, okay? So that'll leave me with 1 here, and th this guy. Mm, yeah, I'm going to take the 9 out, because it doesn't make it any better. <laughs> And since I got rid of 2, this should become 4. Okay, that's, that's better. That's better. Uh, I could, I could, okay, I've got some cubes here, all right, so I can simplify that. Should we do, should we do that? Uh, x cubed minus, minus x cubed is minus 8x cubed plus 9x squared plus 2. Yeah? Yeah, okay x cubed oh, plus so 2 healthy. to the 4. Okay, I think I'm ready to differentiate. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up here, because I'm not going to bother simplifying after my first line, because you'll see why. Here's the second derivative. Vulv on v squared. v is x cubed plus 2 to the 4. u dash is um, hmm, minus 24x squared plus 18x, that's that, that's vu dash, uh, minus u, oh man, uh, minus 8x cubed plus 9x squared plus 2, you know those points where you like, it seemed like a good idea at the time, uh, v dash, okay, 
Okay, I'm going to do the 4 and the 3x squared together. So that's going to be 12x squared. And then I have to reduce the power by 1, which is x cubed plus 2 cubed. Yes? And then that is over x cubed plus 2 to the 8. Oh man, for real? Okay. Yeah, why did I differentiate again? Then you have to solve where you've got to actually evaluate this thing. Uh, where you find your stationary points, okay? So the second derivative can be useful. In this kind of case, right, the more you differentiate, look, I started here, and then I differentiated once, and then differentiated again. So the more you differentiate, the simpler the function gets. But other functions, you start here, and then you go to here, and then you end up with this mess. So you differentiate, and it gets worse and worse and worse, okay? It's just the you fractions you should Basically, okay? Uh, but there's more varieties than that. This is, not the, this is not the only kind, but that's one of them. Okay? So it's how to determine the nature of a stationary point using the second derivative. Okay?